generating electricity from renewable energy sources has increased significantly in recent years, with the most notable growth being seen in wind and solar power. This is a welcome development. However, the variability of wind and solar energy calls for a new approach in the way the European power system is both developed and managed. There are several technologies that can contribute effectively to this new approach. Transmission technologies directed at improvements in network control and flexible electricity system operation. Bulk energy storage technologies and demand response technologies and measures. The GridTech project has two aims, to assess the new technologies that could help modernise the European transmission grid and to come up with quantitative and qualitative answers to four key questions. Pan-European scenarios for implementing the new technology into the European grid have been defined, covering the time horizons between now, 2020, 2030 and 2050. For each scenario, model runs and sensitivity analysis have been carried out, giving powerful insights for comparing the costs and benefits of using different technologies in the future European grid. GridTech focused on seven target countries where the costs and benefits were compared when applying the new technologies in specific case studies. In all cases, transmission grid expansion was considered along with the application of additional energy storage capacities and innovative grid technologies. Using innovative materials in transmission lines, energy storage and demand response. Applying innovative grid technologies, including the long-term use of high voltage direct current lines, Strengthening the interconnection capacity compared to energy storage and demand side management. Using high voltage direct current for new interconnection while applying demand side management and storage technologies in the distribution grid. Applying innovative grid technologies in the short term and offshore high voltage direct current lines in the longer term for distribution levels, smart grid applications are being considered. Increasing local transmission capacity through innovative technologies in the short term and more interconnection storage and demand side management in the long term. We are making different studies for scenarios ranging from 2020, 2030 and 2050 to understand the the potential effects in terms of uh, uh, benefits and of course their costs of new technologies, transmission grid technologies, especially HVDC, but also others, and storage technologies, electricity demand uh, response technologies that can uh, help the European energy system to integrate. We will have the first approach, which is uh, the pan-European analysis, and we have a second approach, which is the regional case studies. So it's like a feedback in between these two uh, approaches in order to make a top-down and then a bottom-up approach in order to have a real fine-tune of uh, of the, the analysis. We want to get further insights uh, on the behavior of the European electricity system when in implementing new uh, technologies uh, with the overall objective uh, supporting uh, the exploitation of uh, renewable electricity uh, generation in the future. The GridTech project has analyzed the results of the studies and developed policy recommendations. Visit our website for full access to all our results. Thank you.